everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. And we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds of heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Number one, scheduled for six. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Good biting, snapping shot by Morris. Able to show you his blocking ability. Teddy, in terms of a power punch, we know the taller fighter is going to try to utilize the jab, but in terms of a power punch, what can he get that shorter fighter with? The uppercut. Boy, oh boy, that can be like putting a cherry on top of an ice cream sundae. Because you know the shorter guy's leaning, he's coming in, he doesn't see that punch till it's too late. Morris is able to avoid that punch. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Halfway through this round here. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. And a punishing hook by the Mongoose. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of round one. And they come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside, and boy, oh boy, are they putting on a show tonight here. Well, kind of what you expected. These styles kind of told you that this is what you were going to get. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your... Here we go, round two is underway. And now he scores with that left to the body. Get your hands up! Yeah, yeah. Goes up top with a right hand. Morris is left now getting into the mix. 
Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Plus shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Jump on it. Nice. Scored well up top. One, two, one, two. Finish Halfway the through round baby. number two. Finish with the hook. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Right to the head with that right. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Morris's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Precision work with the left hand by Morris. Good flush shot upstairs. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Keep pushing, keep pushing. There's a straight right hand. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good this round. With that power shot. Listen to me. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. That is a sharp uppercut by the Mongoose. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Jump on him right now. Nice, nice. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's right. Body shots. Body shots. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. The mongoose is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Oh, he 
goes to the gut with a right hand. Nice. Nice. Protecting his head well with his guard. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. able to connect with the uppercut. We count down the final moments of this round. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that and keep throwing punch. Where's your body work? Come on now, hit the body. Let's see that. Hit the body. Oh, you got to breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not winning. His opponent may regret the way he has started this fight tonight, finding himself already in a hole on Teddy's scorecard down three rounds. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Morris's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot, you know, you hear about that in, in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot. Well, the jab, he's catching his opponent just good, as he's good. starting to get into his range before he can get off. Oh, what a whiff by Morris. Seconds to go in round number four. Beat him to the punch. Come on, champ. Beat him to the punch now. Mongoose is looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Seconds to go in the fourth. Back to the body. Back Didn't to the get body. it done going to the body there. We come to the end of this round. 
And for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break from this. You gotta watch the water in the corner. It's keep the your hands up, all right? Keep your guard. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Oh, keep your feet moving. Very nice defensive guard there. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old time trainers would say, Teddy, he's Man, doing the hard it, part. And that job. is the hard good part, job. making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part. Nice. Hit them. Real nice. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Some of the old school guys really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shots. He takes a shot and then commits hey, to giving hey, hey, one right hey, back. Hey, 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 let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see. The mongoose's punch is far off the target. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's gonna end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Look, you're behind up points, right? The only way to win this one is a knockout. So keep those hands moving and land a big one. Don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. The sixth and final round has arrived. You need to keep that head moving. Morris has got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. 
I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas. And it's not looking real pretty right now. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Not able to land the head shot. That's it. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Distance, such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Nice work. Nice work. Looking good. Doing great, champ. Keep going. Last 10 seconds of the fight. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Very close fight. Tough to score some of those rounds, but they did. And for that, let's send it up to the ring. The Mongoose's record will now include this draw, Teddy. I know throughout the night, you didn't see that coming. No, check your pockets. Somebody's been robbed. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.